my sister, she was sick too. I didn't want to live like that, you know? Locked inside, too safe to really live. That's how you look when you ride. Free. That's the perfect word. Thank you. So thank you guys for being with me today. Um, I'm so excited about this project. Uh, talk about it and like, you know, what was it that spurred it on really? You know, I think, and this is a novel I read a few years ago, but people loved it. And I really think it's the love story in it. But it was Pure Flix. You know, Sony Pure Flix said, hey, that one of the execs, hey, can we have lunch? Because we see A Thousand Tomorrows as being a TV series on our platform. Um, that hadn't occurred to me. Like, this is not my longest novel. So to see it as six hours, you know, was kind of incredible. And I said, well, I can see it if my favorite screenwriter writes it. And that's Tyler. So I really, truly think he has such a, a knack for screenwriting and he's so visual. Uh, so the exciting thing to me was what he brought to it with extra characters, new scenes and more action to uh, make it what it is today. People are loving it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted her to be happy the whole time, make sure that we're honoring her story and that her readers would be happy. You know, we outlined together and once I would finish an episode, we would get together and we would read it out loud and kind of get in the middle of it. And she gave me green lights the whole way. And so I knew I was I was capturing the heart there. And, right. and even further, the way that Pure Flix, you know, in the casting and the creating of the show, and we see what the response we're getting from the viewers that it's just really resonating and it's it's a really powerful show and we're really thankful. Now, I see the potential as like, this could be more seasons, but like you said that, you know, you've already written such and such amount, but do you think you could continue? Well, there are two other books. Yeah. So once I finished Thousand Tomorrows, the readers wanted more. They wanted, yes. what happens? What, 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 what happens to his life? So we have, it's Just Beyond the Clouds and um, and then another one after that. So I think Just Beyond the Clouds could be two seasons. Okay. There's enough content in that book. So I could see 12 episodes or two seasons with that. But we've already outlined it and we haven't, um, we're kind of anticipating with the success. Yeah. That we hope we'll get to do more with it. You know, I have other books that would make good series too. So it's kind of whatever, you know, whatever's resonating. I don't think we saw this being like their number one big, you know, biggest thing they've done or whatever, but it's super exciting to, to hear. I, I mean, I think it's, we're leaning into it. We're leaning into the difficult topics that sometimes you don't expect to see on a platform like Pure Flix, but they're real and people want real. People do want that because they're dealing with the same sort of right. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's sickness in here and there's also the father relationship situation and everybody's got a brokenness in like some capacity. So talk about those kind of themes and the heaviness there. Yeah, Cody's a sick, or Cody's an angry uh, bull rider, and Allie is a sick barrel racer. And the two of them, they each have sort of these deep secrets that they carry. And maybe they compete better because of that, or they think they do. And it's wonderful they meet each other that um, I think was a realization of just how broken they really are in their own places. Uh, in terms of, you know, the broken father relationship, I mean, that's something you really did a great job writing about, and you have an absolutely great relationship with your dad but still well and i know many people who, who don't and i mm -hmm. think um broken relationships everyone knows that in some kind of yeah. you know so we can all relate to a broken relationship um or to a burden you know whether yeah. we know someone who's sick or has lost a loved one so i think it's resonating because there's a bit of a universal nature to loss and to pain but also the way that ali and cody um carry on you know the way that they that they choose to be strong and courageous and the lord and trust that this is difficult, but we're going to move forward. And you talk about, you know, shedding light on we're living for eternity and that heaven, um, heaven is, is eternal. And, but this is just earth. And so there's pain and there's suffering here, but there's, there's a glory that we have to look forward to if right. we persevere and we're strong and courageous in that pain. I liked that she was, um, Allie was a really strong character, even in the midst of her hardships, because CF is a disease that, you know, they kind of tell you don't you know, do crazy things, right? You're going to get sick easily. So can you talk about kind of your hope for her to just to show that? Yeah. I, you know, my husband is a basketball coach and back in the day he was coaching a younger team and one of the boys had cystic fibrosis and his parents taught my husband how to make him lie on his back on the court. And then my husband would pump his legs to get the lungs to inflate if he took like a, if he had a hard moment and then happened. I mean, we're doing, the whole gym would go quiet. I just thought, you know, it, it is an incredible to, to bear that. And there are a lot of people dealing with maybe a different kind of sickness. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, that they'll see themselves in Allie and how she, it's like you said about being strong and courageous. 
um, she knew what she wanted to do with her life. And she wanted to live it. She cared more about the life in her days than the days in her life. Yeah. And I think she's such a strong character because she knows what she wants. And she won't let anything sideline her. You know, we see even into the final episode of the season that she she wants, um, she doesn't want the disease to rule her. You know, she wants to, she wants to trust that God has given her life for a reason. And so she's going to live it to its fullest. And I love that she knows what she wants. And she chases after it. And I think there's a lesson to be learned for, for all of us. Yeah, that's how it was sidelined. And then would jump in. Yeah, that is a great message for, you know, everybody. Right. And so, and, and it shows her enduring such hardships and, um, you know, but him having the emotional hardships and stuff. And so, um, talk, can you talk a little bit about her relationship with her mom and the family? Kind of? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's a beautiful thing. One of the things we always taught our kids is your best friends are the ones sitting around the dinner table. You know, that everyone else kind of comes and goes, but the people around your dinner table, they're the ones that'll stay. And that's true with, you know, for Ali's parents, it's not easy. They had two daughters, both with cystic fibrosis. They kept them inside until the younger one died anyway of pneumonia. She got pneumonia. She didn't make it. She never got to live and go out. And that was the day that Ali said, I'm going to go get on that horse. And it changed everything. And her parents had to be... You know, they had to trust God enough to let her live and really live. They give her wings. Uh, watching that play out, watching the parents with them, like, there's like a, they're like holding their breath in some ways because they don't want to lose her. They know something to happen, but also confidently share that this is the right thing for their daughter. And now it's nice that you guys are working together in your family, you know, and so that's beautiful. Yeah, we've opened Karen Kingsbury Productions. We've done our first feature film that'll be in theaters, we hope, this fall. And Tyler got to direct it. We do we do find a lot of our creativity as a family. It's fun. Which doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. But we have just decided early on we want to serve each other and honor each other and honor yeah. the Lord and honor the story. And so however, you know, we try to drop our ego and say your idea is better. Right. I say your respect to yeah. just I respect him as a writer. I didn't think there'll be a day when people say, Aren't you Tyler Russell's mom? <laughs> we'll see. I, I, right. yeah. I mean, I love that. What makes you believe? How do you know it's real? Peace. He came to give us peace. 